Welcome back to some more War on the Sea, Pacific Theater Mod, uh, part 134. <clears throat> Before we start, I, I wanted to address something. I, I tried to jazz up the video a little bit with uh, doing some research, and for the life of me, I failed. Uh, my my uh, mousetrap brain of mine uh, could not find historical losses of during World War II, the uh, Kingfisher Scout Plains statistics. In other words, survivability, losses of Kingfishers during World War II specifically, and many other variants of the same type of search. I found all sorts of information about the Kingfisher. Why am I focusing on the Kingfisher? Um, no particular reason. <laughs> Probably to support my, I don't like losing aircraft uh, just because. Um, a lot of people auto or allow kingfishers to be shot down in this game and I'm not willing to do that. Thus the rule I made up, if a scout plane is spotted by something out away from the ship, they immediately get the order to return back to the ship and then I have to go back in and reinstitute the search pattern that they were doing. So that, that's, but I found nothing. I found all sorts of cool information, but I didn't find uh, how many have, were lost during the war. And that's really the issue. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about and give you some statistical data. And that didn't happen. So life as it is. So we're going to continue on. Jakarta is the last place we were at. We're invading. Um, <coughs> I think we're waiting on this guy to get there to drop off more equal supplies and troops. Um, we want to keep a ratio. We do want this to get better, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. And um, Kaving is going back over here to grab what it can. I think we can get maybe a thousand troops and a thousand supplies as long as we leave more supplies on this. Uh, Van Jamison, then uh, we leave. Okay, let's go on. Moving on. Moving on. <clears throat> Horn. Horn's being attacked. Uh, we need to make sure that we put up some cap. Launch aircraft, 16 full. Um, we're going to make sure you're over Horn. And just so that we stay honest and true, we're going to make sure that we put up uh, our Avengers as well. Because they can do some stuff. Sure, why not? And uh, we are going to put depth charges on them, though. And keep them over Horn. So that's more targets. For us to engage with, hopefully. Let's go we're immediately over and we want to go to the Avengers and um, form them up into a box, get them lower, speed them up, and we're going to have them do a light turn. That's enough. Let's see what we got here. So these are dive bombers, so we're gonna turn these guys on and let them go attack. And let's go over to our ships and tell everybody to we're in three columns still. 750 is our displacement. We are going to uh, turn into them. And we are going to also change our distance. So we should get everybody moving. Fail. 
failed miserably. Got a little dinger. Should be okay. You guys going after somebody? Somebody out there, apparently. Yep, right there. So, Avengers, I want you guys to stop. Uh, you're gonna form up, you're gonna cease. guys to stay with the group. Let's go see what these guys are going to do. some over here too. Oh, that's our... Yeah, those are our ships. Yeah, that kind of looks like it would be a formation of uh, planes, but it's actually our ships over there. Let's go back over. Let's get everybody grouped up. Get up and head this way. You can slow down. Now, let's go see what we got going on with our... Is it you, right? situated with your repairs so I don't think we're gonna get her speed it wasn't affected but her cargo was 38% integrity let's see how far we can get that to speed it up It's like a hornet's nest over here. So it looks like we're going to get her back to speed. Um, let's get these guys to do a turn as well. Chips. So that got repaired, that's good. So we're back to full speed. Let's get out. 
Okay, um, so you should be okay there. They're obviously sending stuff our way. Uh, you guys need to probably put up some cap as well, because you're in danger area. Where are you, Kaveng? Ball rolling, my friends. So we got more aircraft coming up, so let's put up some more of these. Are there everybody's up? Okay. So that's it. Let's begin. Should be more than that. So the Avengers need to uh, stay. We'll have these guys do a little circle-y. Because I have a feeling they're going to be coming from different directions. Kidding, right? Um, can you guys maybe shoot this guy down, please? Thank you. That's way too close. Cheater, cheater. Okay, anybody else? Two of two, we lost an aircraft. We left an F6F over that. Unacceptable, my friends. All right, let's see what we can do. It's gonna be more, I'm sure. Really, as long as we have the uh, Hellcats up, I'm okay. Um, let's see what we got waiting for us. Two spiders. go back to these guys and uh, have you guys spin. Let's see what we can do about these fighters here.
should be it for these guys. <clears throat> And I expect this to happen uh, continually all day. Maybe we need to move. Let's get a, let's move out here. Um, you can always return. Let's have you sit there. Looks like Pompeii has arrived. What can you take here? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that little bit of distance. That's about all we can manage on this ship. I um, guess we can take some of these smaller ones. Fuel, of course. I uh, don't want to take, I don't want to empty out all the engineering. Maybe we can piddle away at some of this stuff. Yeah. And that's about all we can take. We can't take anymore. Who's empty? One ship's empty. We can pick up on our way. Or no. We'll just come here. That's all we can give you. Sorry. Alright, what do we got going on here? supply truck let's unload and we're gonna leave everybody here I don't like that we'll go over here we can grab some supplies let's run over and get some can we actually take it looks close to 2,000 troops or supplies we can take and what does that put us it puts us real close to 13 or 14,000 um, with just a, another trip but it doesn't matter because where we get our supplies from they don't have any and what are you doing you are picking up so let's see what we can pick up from here Oh, lucky, lucky, we're in resupply. Okay, that's good. So, um, so if we go this, so two, six, nope, yep and engineering and fuel and we send you to wait yeah that's a good balance <coughs> and you're heading back to Pompeii and you are going over there okay so we got you guys covered what are you doing you dropping off drop it off here horn defense you're doing fine we have you coming down to resupply somebody I can't remember maybe it was uh
Yeah, maybe it's to group this to head out. I think that's what that's for. And you guys are supposed to be moving, but I don't think you are. Let's see if we can change that. Supply dumps are, which are you picking up, right? We have some supplies already. Good, and that's enough. Um, what do we have here that we can take? Let's run over and get some supplies. Seems like I'm taking from one to give to another back and forth, but it's one of those things where it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. We can run to the morning, I think. Without too much issue. You can take up an even, I need even supplies and uh, troops. So we want more supplies on this base, so we gotta be careful. So there's troops, not counting that. No, count that, that's what I need to count. So do that. I'm gonna break this thing again. We'll rotate him back, I guess. We're still breaking the rules. All right. It's not ideal, but when we're lopsided like we are, it's gonna happen. <clears throat> Maybe this guy will even it out. Let's do one more day. See if we can manage it. I'm gonna get hit over here again, I'm for sure. What are you doing? You're supposed to be moving, right? Oh no, that's this guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're waiting. So I'm sick of playing that game. You go over here and I want you to do a, let's set out some scouts. We're going to send them out. Um, Five oh two as far as they can go. Done. I want you to go this way. Close enough. Let's get the another. We're going to send out all three. And I want you to go this way. Two, right? Close enough. Let's get another one. I know this is the most exciting part of this game, right? For you guys. Sorry. So, we're going to go this way down to 502. do that
Might as well send the last one, right? This one will go south. He'll do, do a... Uh, do one of those. See what that looks like when they go out. Nice and even. See if we catch anything. Got more of this happening. Um, cause ray is the one. We'll launch up your aircraft. <clears throat> Stay up over cause ray. And so we don't look stupid, you're gonna send up yours as well because if we make the mistake and they go for us instead of them, even though we might still be in the same proximity. Just want to make sure everybody's safe. And we are going to make sure that we are ultimately safe, 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 and launch up our Avengers because they can fight see what we get here. See they are in the group so if there are aircraft out here they can defend. So we're gonna have these guys get turned on. bombers and it looks like further out these are torpedo bombers because they're spinning Other light carrier supply group can uh, attack the torpedo bombers if they get there. These guys should go down pretty quick. Yep, like that. So they're making these wild movements because the torpedo planes are circling to get down to the water. And then uh, they'll do their thing. I have a feeling these guys will get there sooner. Speed up if you want here, bro. torpedo bombers bombers. Alright, that should be it. 
four four. Okay, are you close enough? I think you are. So we are Kazu, right? Yeah. So let's manage cargo. So we like this ratio. We want to keep it. So we want to be safe. Um, let's go supplies first. Get all them supplies on there. I'm gonna hold. Alright, so those are all the supplies. Now let's put some troops on. Maybe we can fit one more. Yeah, that's about it. Can't put any more on. More on. So we're going to course out away. Let's get with this guy. And let's see what Jakarta looks like now. All right, so that's uh, that's a bit better. Um, give me one second. Okay. Yep, these things happen. Okay. It's all part of life, right? So, your supply coming in, okay, and you have troops, supplies, troops, troops, supplies. Okay. So we can we can top this off to get the base here shortly. But then all three supply ships are going to stay together. We're not worried about that because you're getting you're be, you're going to get between two groups now, bruh. Start see where you are. You're here. Your torpedo planes, you're about to be shot down. Where's the other set of planes? Another ways off. I'm going to follow this guy. Nathan Jackson from Brooklyn. That's his name. Yeah. He, he is a... Uh, he grew up a hard life. He, uh, he didn't have a good life. Let's just say that. He worked for everything he got. And uh, what he got was war broke out. He uh, found it was time for him to uh, join up, so he did. He's an athletic man. He, he uh, excelled in all sorts of physical activities, uh, which, in flying a plane, physical activities is important. It's one of those things that uh, a lot of people don't think about. So two for two, no losses. Good. Let's move on. Way to go, Nathan. Do a little spot check around to see if anything's happening. Nothing's really happening. We got 140 command points in the ticket, and uh, those guys are good. We're waiting on this supply group to come in. The uh, Sarah Hornet are going up to bombard this guy. Didn't like that little glitch that just happened there. All right, air operations are available, so let's get these guys all loaded up. Because we know they're gonna be attacked. You are calving. And 
you two guys, corn. Let's get up over horn. And because I'm I'm that way, Cosray needs the launchers as well. Say goodbye to that guy. So we got torpedo planes coming in as well. Two torpedo planes right there. automatically stops as soon as uh and that'll do it for those guys. Double check. Four or four. Let's retreat out. Alright, so are you close enough to uh drop off your troops, manage cargo? Yes. Okay, so again, stick to this more supplies than troops, I keep saying every time. You guys, I'm sure, are sick of that, but uh, let's go with that and this. So that should do it. Um, I think we can get the rest of these on here without it being an issue. Yeah. So now we're going to bring everybody in. Um, because as soon as we get this base and we make it an airfield, we're going to take as much off of it as we can. And with these three supply groups here, we'll be able to do that. So let's have everybody come in. So Kevin's there. Horn is there. And Osray is there. Yeah, we can do that. Looks like we got some 
spiders. It's only four, I think. Let these guys do their thing. One fighter shot one down. So you see two aircraft going down over there. So he's going 231, we're going 327. See the problem there? So with these Bearcats, or Hellcats, or whatever they're called, um, it's sort of beep beep beep, what's that for? I don't know. attack from a couple different angles. These guys are going so slow. This is how we lose aircraft when they come in at these angles. It's because they're so too fast. Graphics card is having a hissy fit right now. Boys. That should be it for these dudes. Let's see, six of six, lost one. I'm going to do a save because of my graphics card seeming to have an issue. <clears throat> All right, what's uh, what did that supply drop look like, Jakarta? All right, we're in a good position to wait. But we're going to have all these ships wait right on top of each other. Alright, so these guys are coming in. We need to, of course, make sure we have aircraft up. <clears throat> Let's put up all 24 of these guys. Sarah Hornet. And these look like dive bombers or torpedo bombers. So let's begin. Wow. Okay, so immediately you look and you say, well, these guys are dive bombers with a big old bomb. And these guys are fighters. These guys are torpedo plant no, no, fighters, okay. So land-based aircraft, land-based and, uh, I don't know if these are land, I think they're land-based. And these guys are definitely land-based and carrier-based. So pretty well split up here. Lots of aircraft here, lots of aircraft. You could lose quite a bit.
trouble, boys. Alright, let's go to our ships and see if we can uh, change their mind a little bit. And by changing their mind, I mean turning a little bit. So let's do that. These guys, I believe, are in a... Not three column, but Bama line. And let's uh, get them closer together and speed up if we can. So these guys are the dangerous ones. Saratoga. Look at all that triple A. I don't know if he released the bomb or not. Oh, he's just a fighter. Okay, not worried about you. What I am worried about is not him. You've done all those dive bombers. Yeah, looks like we did. Let's go back to Saratoga. A lot of uh, gunfire going on there. So far, no hits, which is good. This looks like it might be the last guy. There's a guy right here. So these guys, let's see here, go 240, we're doing 244. Hey Bob, bruh. See that guy right, right, right. Not you bruh. Shoot that guy. Yeah, him. There you go, you're a winner. right in front of him. Yeah, that's world of ugly coming your way, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you? These guys got me thinking about my computer or my GPU. 
you know, this game here is, I don't know exactly, I'm going to say eight years old, maybe longer. Um, why do they make games that uh, the, the life expectancy of the things on a, you know, the computer basis, graphics card, your memory, all that kind of thing. Why do they make games that make our home computers obsolete after just a couple of years? It's almost like you're in cahoots with the game makers. Fighters get them though. Is it everybody? I think that's everybody but some runners. No, that's everybody. Lost one. Who lost one? I think the I think the Hornet lost one. So this is what we're waiting on. You're going in to bombard Del Monte at a three down to zero. Hopefully that can happen. I imagine we're gonna get hit again. There we go. What direction do we want to turn? We want to turn this way speed up. These guys are so close, man. Look at that. Look at how close they are. Let's turn this way. And battle line change. I bombing. They were trying to do the old kamikaze on me. These guys? They're trying to crash into my ship. They're doing they're doing that that thing. Slow 
you down, Washington. Straighten your rudder. Let's see what kind of damage we got. It's doable. We can manage that. What the heck? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. You need to attack something, my friend. This guy's gonna get hit. gonna get ugly my friends. Yeah, they're gonna go kamikaze with my brand new aircraft carrier. Much I can do about it. Oh my god. How's that for lucky? And they didn't drop. And they didn't hit any other ships. Yeah, he can outrun us. Come on. Okay, get this guy. You too. Get this guy. Who are you going after? Attack something. So this little key here, dogfight at will, if engaged, should allow for aircraft to just do their thing. Um, so you guys will either get them or you won't get them. Let's go look at our damage. See if we can slow everybody down. You guys are doing that. Um, what's your status? So we still got three more repairs. One, two, three. Why does it show one, two, three, four, five? Maybe they couldn't show them all on this ship. So you're at 16 knots. You need to break and slow down. That guy can't get him. We need to bring all these guys back home. Yeah, speed up, my friend.
we're not gonna waste our time with that. Come back to the ship, my friends. back here. We should be able to recover. Look at you, just speeding up. When did you speed up? See if anybody else got damaged. Yeah, you did. Well, after this event, you gotta go home, my friend. 58% speed. That's bad. So we'll do your we'll do your thing, but then we're gonna have to call it a day. You guys are gonna have to go home. Let's uh, break it down and speed more because you can't go that fast. Okay, minor none. Saratoga, you're the damaged one. Survivor bolt, but you took some heavy hits. I don't know what you hit. I won't get hit by you. It's funny, it doesn't even show, but whatever. Okay, everybody's repaired, so let's get out of here. Yeah, even with Cap. Even with Cap, it was uh, difficult because they got so close. Um, we could do we could do a uh, scout group. Let's have you do one of these, and I want you above the Sarah Hornet, and I want it to be tight, and I want it to be like that. You do that forever in a day. Let's see if we can get in there and do our mission. How about we launch up some more? <clears throat> get everybody up. You have to. You gotta get get that protection up, otherwise that happens. It's kind of close as well. Alright. How close are you gonna be this time? Alright, so these are bombers. Yep, so this is priority. These guys are torpedo bombers. So hopefully we get a bunch of, yeah we do, and we do, good. Let's go back here and watch from afar. Hopefully we can get these guys in. So what's the status of our ships? Um, Saratoga's lagging back. 
Her top speed is 15. So we need everybody to go the same speed. Slow down. Who are you going after? It's telling me there's torpedo planes out here too. Yep. Okay. How are we doing over here, boys? Get all these torpedo planes. Okay. Let's see if that slowing us down to 14 knots improved. See now you're going 10. This is not good. Twenty one, no losses. Okay, we need to get in and we need to bombard this place and uh, escape. And <clears throat> I'm wondering, no, it doesn't matter. Do we go this way? I think we do. We go this way. So our kingfisher has been caught. Um, which is fine. We have a rule for that. And again, fighters. Even though they're old fighters, but uh, they are what they are. Um, nah, look. A whole bunch of fighters. Not just two. Let's look around and see if we find anything else. That's us. That's our kingfisher right there. But if we keep looking, there's more. You can't click on them. So we're going to retreat, send our kingfisher home, RTB, and get these guys in to do their hoo-yahs. Direct line. Yeah, Saratoga's damage pretty bad. Ten damage, eight flooding, five general. We're gonna use up Saratoga as much as we can. And by doing so, I mean sending up these guys. They have guns, they can do something. In. Okay. Um, hello. Maybe we have too many aircraft in the air. We should have. a whole group of aircraft. Done. Okay, that's what it takes. So what's coming in at us, spiders? Yeah, maybe I sent those aircraft to the wrong aircraft carrier. Who knows?
put up the smoke screen for giggles, I guess. It doesn't do anything. There was some discussion on whether or not smoke screen affected uh, your ship's AAA. I, don't, I think it's just a visual thing. I don't think it does anything. Make sure we're not losing aircraft. Sarah's struggling, but you will stay with her. You'll start doing zigzags because she's going so slow. I'm surprised she got up to 19 knots. But that's it for these guys. Let's retreat out. I'm interested to find out what happened to those uh, Dauntlesses. Yeah, you're the Sarah Hornet. You're supposed to be there, but apparently they don't show up if you have too many aircraft in the air. Let's get this bombarded. So we're going to have what ships can bombard? Washington, North Carolina, that's it. Only eight inch and above. And then we're going to go home to get rid of uh, Saratoga. Okay, let's see. Del Monte should be at three, right? Yeah, let's see what we can do to her. I don't think that did anything. Let's do one more. That should be down to one, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, one. So one more. Can we take her out? Yeah, we can. Now, Here's, here's the question. Do we go deeper into their territory or longer in their territory? Let's risk it. It's the daytime thing. Let's, let's just go this way. And we're going to go right down. I'm going to do a course all the way home. <coughs> And that's all she wrote on that. Let's see how that works out for us. Yep, so now it's the other base that's coming after us. Everybody's getting in tight. Torpedo bombers. I'm okay with that. Those guys are easy. So they're, it's late in the day and they're running out of uh, aircraft. Um, as we see these guys are doing their thing. I want to slow you down to not overheat. Let's turn on that radar because you're slow. And uh, if we have problems, it'll be a big one. But we did get rid of one base, big base. Let's 
Still way too close for my liking. Ideally, we'd have a kingfisher up to spot them. The kingfisher wouldn't be seen, and we'd be able to vector aircraft uh, to their location. But in this game, it doesn't allow for that. Let's see what we got. Anything else? Nine of nine. Okay. Dauntless is. Yeah, that's going to be fighters and Dauntlesses, and we see Dauntlesses here. Um, We are right over the aircraft carrier and uh, we are going to dive down in a box formation. And if they dare come after us, um, yeah, it's going to be a bad day for them. Let's see what we got. These are roofs. Do we just trade with a roof? Yeah. So these are the bottom of their barrel. I personally like it. We took a, a, a airframe that was proven zero and we put made it float plane. Actually makes it turning. Uh, it turns better, I think not as bad as you can take a float plane would, but uh, yeah, still quite formidable. Got anybody else out there floating around? Let's check. Eight of eight. All right, let's get out. We're going to have this until we get out of the, the uh, radar zone. Are we going to get out of there? Ooh, just missed. Okay. Do we still have our aircraft up? We do. Good. So these are torpedo planes, which shouldn't be that difficult. Nice little screenshot there. Wow, that's how you get. That's I, I was almost a collision we just witnessed there. <laughs> Losses. No losses. Good. Anybody else still shooting? That's everybody. Eight of eight. 
no losses. We're gonna lose our cap, and hopefully they follow the rules. Really? 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 Ah, okay, let's uh, take this slow and easy. Um. <clears throat> okay, so I don't think there's aircraft, but I do think it's a submarine. If it's anything else, I think we'll be fine. But we are gonna turn. So, basically what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna break everybody. Let's get everybody down to 15. Form everybody. Now, at 15, we should be able to spot a submarine. Let's turn on our sonar. And hopefully, you know, if it's destroyers or a cargo ship, we're good. So let's just see what happens. All right, so it's all ridge. So it's <laughs> all that panic. All right, let's put a, a smacking on this guy. Um, what is he? He is a uh, soon to be uh, coral reef or, or tin reef. Let's recognize him. Uh, again, I, I don't think this has, I don't think you have to do this, but I do this because I like to play the game this way. It's not for everybody, I know that, but uh, it's the way I like to play. So we got a small cargo, we got a large cargo, we got a small cargo, we got a large cargo. That's what I'm looking for here. Small, large, small, large. Bingo. Some of these stacks and, and uh, towers, you know, bridge, they kind of look similar. So, quick references, that's what I use, the uh, cargo compartments. So, we're going to be shooting from this direction. I want everyone uh, firing at will. Firing at will. And who do we want to watch shoot? Let's watch North Carolina shoot. And it should be that direction. Um, that's a good way to, to focus it. Let's just do this. Yeah, can you, they don't have any ammo in their big guns. Yeah, there's no ammo. That's fine. How about something else? Australia, are you shooting? Something like that, maybe. So yeah, that didn't take long at all, did it? I guess we could have watched from this angle, but... Uh, those are all rounds that are in the air. So the, the word has been put out, stay away from my ships. And everybody's good to go. All right, that's nice. One command point, we'll take it. So we look at the damage. Um, 
These miners are splash damage from those aircraft diving in on us. So they have kamikazes in this area. You need to remember that for next time. Um, yeah, it's a thing. We should be safe now. Let's go to the morning and then we'll call it into this, this uh, video. How's Jakarta doing? Good. See how the close those uh, those troops are. Let's get some take some injured off. Having. How about you do some uh, managed cargo and take off some troops. Keep those guys well rested and fed. All right. So that's five o'clock in the morning. We're gonna leave it at that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we had some good engagements. Um, we took some more damage than we wanted. Uh, we, you know, Saratoga is pretty well damaged. She's gonna have to be released. Um, and then I think we are getting to that point where we can almost uh, put in another one of these guys um, to replace the Saratoga. Maybe we'll post the Saratoga somewhere else at a defending a, a location. Um, yes, I like to use my aircraft carriers. Yes, I like aircraft in the game. Um, maybe one day I'll get better at doing uh, surface engagements and that'll change a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of aircraft carriers. So served on many of them. John F. Kennedy deployment with them. Uh, USS Independence for two years in Japan. Two deployments there. Uh, Dwight T. Eisenhower twice. Uh, two different deployments with squadrons. Uh, and that was my carrier experience. And then uh, destroyers or frigate first of all. USS Elrod and guided missile cruisers. Uh, USS Karen And uh, I'm forgetting one. I want to say the Nelson. I don't know. My mind's a little flabbergasted right now. So we're going to leave it at that. And uh, I'll see you at the next one. So uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.